What is going on world? What's up everyone? It's Zero here. Today I'm bringing you guys a brand new StarCraft 2 video. This one is between two players on the WCS Pro Circuit. Spawning here in the bottom left hand corner of Lost and Found Ellie, playing with the blue Zerg pieces. He's currently up 1-0 against his opponent. His name is Serol. And his opponent spawning on the upside of the map with the red Terran pieces. He's currently down 0 to 1. He's going to try to get this series back in his favor. His name is Hero Marine. So, guys, game number one you guys can check out on the YouTube channel right now between these two players. And game number one was a very fun filled match of ZVT. And I'm excited to see uh, what, especially what Hero Marine decides to do in this game. And uh, is Sarah going to decide to go for a pretty standard uh, focused. Uh, you know, build here, or is he planning on uh, maybe cheesing his opponent just a little bit? Should be interesting, nonetheless. Um, and Hero Marine, how is he going? How is he going to do against you know um, a player of the likes, of course, of Sarah, but also being down you know 1-0. So it should be interesting to say the least. Looks like Hero Marine is going to go for a uh, barracks into, of course, the refinery. Um, he probably is going to get his expansion here relatively soon. And then on the opposite side, it looks like a hatch gas pool is exactly what our Zerg player is going to be going for here. Um, that's exactly what he decides to do. Hatch gas pool, relatively standard, of course. Um, and then we got the orbital command that's going to be coming up here very soon for our Terran player. And then the natural expansion is going to be coming up as well. So very standard. I, I'm wondering, you know, Cyril decided to kind of fly his his overlord over in this direction. Is kind of probably looking around to see if there's any type of proxy barracks play that Hero Marine is planning on doing, and that is not the case. But very smart to be doing so anyway. Serol, of course, uh, one of the best Zerg players, if not the best in the world currently. He's actually probably the best overall StarCraft player in the world right now. Uh, you can always argue for innovation in other players, but uh, Serol is just proving that he is just an absolute uh, beast right now and, and the best player currently um, at this stage of, of StarCraft 2 and where it is. I'm very excited for BlizzCon, of course, when that's going to be coming up here. Um, and, you know, just to see, will Serol take home the big one? Because that is what is the difference between being of like the best player in the world at the current time or being one of the all-time greats of a specific game and that can be with esports or traditional sports um you know you gotta bit win the big one you can win a lot of tournaments as you go um but if you don't win the big one and in this case with starcraft 2 it is definitely blizzcon um where you will your legacy will go down if you win um if you win blizzcon you will have a legacy um, of course, to, to show for yourself, um, for all the StarCraft world to, to really witness. So, should be interesting to see what happens over in BlizzCon. But, let's get back to the game here. It looks like our Terran player has decided to go for a very similar build to what he did in game number one. Another barracks is going to be coming up here. Starport's going to be uh, flown over and attached over to the tech lab. Hellions as well as a Reaper are going to be coming across the map here. Third base is already up here for our Zerg player, Serol. Should be interested to see if there's going to be any damage that's going to be dealt here. I think this is probably more so going to be for some scouting information. And these queens are on top of it. The defense is on point right now. And Serol, once again, is just going to continue to macro up a bigger and bigger economy and force eventually here so uh Cyril, uh he's going to go ahead and his tech of choice is going to be the roach warren so he's going to get the roach warren he's going to get more and more queens out as well as he's getting a quick lair being morphed in here hero marine is giving our zerg player quite a bit of respect and, and rightfully so uh Cyril, who is one of the best players in the world uh you do not want to uh to do anything that's going to necessarily um, really you want th you want to do things that are going to help your chances at success here and um, I think what here Marine's doing is pretty smart at this point I'm wondering if he's going to go in for a quick push here on on two bases though would be very interesting Liberator's going to be coming out here 
for our uh, for our Terran player. Third command center is going to be coming up here, and I wonder who's going to really take the engagement to the other. More and more of these Hellions are coming up here, and it looks like there is going to be possibly a push on two place in two places at once. We have these Hellions that are going to be dropped off here to do pretty big amounts of damage. And it looks like those Hellbats are here and ready to go. And it looks like Hero Marine has decided to split up his uh, to split up his army somewhat. These Hellbats are here. And it looks like they're going to try to do as much damage as possible. They're going to try to get these Queens. And it looks like they are able to get at least one Queen. And the surround is coming here. These barbecued... Zerglings are being taken out at this point as quickly as possible, but finally um, he is able to shoo away the um, This medevac here medevac almost went down there But with all that being said Cyril is still technically in the lead He's getting all of his upgrades at this point plus one plus one um, Our Terran player is also going to be getting some of the plus one upgrades as well He's creating uh, a engineering bay at this point as well. Siege tanks are coming up. So Hero Marine's doing a little bit of the same of what he did last game. He decided to go ahead and get pretty heavy into uh, mech. So he's, he's going to have a mech-based army here at this point. And um, he's going to get his third base up and running. It's very interesting that he decided to do this. Um, but, so to speak, uh, you know, Serral, he's got his fourth base up and uh, coming here. And it looks like there is an engagement here and uh, between Roaches and um, Hellions. And Roaches are very good against Hellions. They can take a lot of hits. Um, it looks like Ravagers are going to be morphed in once again for Serral. And it looks like these Roaches are going to try to do some damage here. They're going to attempt to do a little bit of some damage to, um, the, uh, to, to this third base expansion here. And it looks like... I wonder if Cyril wants to really uh, take this engagement here. It looks like he is actually taking the engagement a little bit. Uh, siege tanks are here, and it looks like uh, all of these uh, roaches as well as uh, ravagers, they're going to try to do a little bit of some damage. They're coming in here. They're going to try to get some of these... Uh, uh, some of these SCVs. They're also going to try to get some kills on these Hellbats, and that's exactly what they're doing. Once again, it looks like Cyril is pushing his opponent back a little bit. With such a, a, a smaller army, he's getting the cancels, he's getting the, the kills on some of these unit uh, structures that our Terran player is trying to, uh, to put up here, and Cyril is once again going to uh, just be a complete nuisance here. And while this is all going on, more and more roaches are being constructed. And once again, we're seeing a switch, of course, over to the um, uh, more and more units coming out of uh, our Zerg player. And, I mean, he wants to get more and more locusts out, which is, uh, which is very interesting. I'm, I'm, I'm super interested to see this unit composition being used uh, once again here. And uh, the swarm host of course, are, a, are, are really working out in Cyril's favor right now. I mean, because of how heavy, um, you know, gr these ground-based units are for our Terran player, it, it's pretty much making, uh, forcing our Zerg player into this position where he feels that he has a huge edge if he gets just a lot of swarm host, and that's exactly what he's doing here. He's making more and more swarm host, and he's going with the same kind of composition. Uh, I'm very surprised to see, nonetheless, uh, what's kind of going on here. It looks like all these uh, all these locusts are going to be coming here, and it looks like they're going to target exactly all of these uh, siege tanks here. It looks like they're going to try to get the kill, and it looks like they are going to get the, a, a good amount of kills here, and all of these uh, roaches are moving in here, and at this point, it doesn't look like there's quite enough here for our uh, Zerg player at this point to really fend off against all of these... Uh, against all these units more and more locusts are going to be coming now and it looks like they're going to try to target fire a couple more of these tanks here and it looks like once again Cyril is bringing the fight over to hero marine on his side of the map they are still consistently trying to get more and more kills here of all of these uh scvs there's idled scvs here he's trying to get more and more kills on all of these uh siege tanks he's pushing once again with more and more locusts 
all of these siege tanks are under extreme amounts of fire here and once again the roach into the ravagers as well as the swarm host is what Cyril decides to do he sees hero marine doing the exact same kind of build that he did in game number one and decides to do the same exact build that he did in game number one and it works out to absolute perfection and uh, utter brilliance by our uh, victor Cyril. I hope you guys did enjoy this game between Cyril and Hero Marine and if you guys did leave a thumbs up subscribe if you stay positive and as always I will see you guys all in the next one. Peace.